Hey everybody, welcome back into Watch Me Wednesday, episode number 19. I really can't believe it's episode number 19. I hope you all had a great weekend. I know I did. <laughs> Busy right now though. I'm definitely in the trying to do the deadline mode. So, um, but I'm so glad you're all back here. I hope you've been working hard on your Proud Mary quilts. Um, if you have had any progress on your Proud Mary quilts, I'd love to see them. Please post them on the, um, the group, the Splash of Color group, so we can see what you're doing. I have to be honest, mine isn't all together yet because um, I, I've been working on deadline quilts. So my Proud Mary is still on my design wall, but um, I want to go over a few things that I think are going to be helpful to you and I think to some others too. So hit that share button if you are just, just joining in because I'm going to show you a little binding tutorial. And yes, I am going to be doing a giveaway, two giveaways at the end of the um, broadcast. So stick with me. I think you'll really like the giveaways. So I'm going to do a binding tutorial that I want you to um, uh, take a look at. Um, I think it'll be helpful for you across the board, not only in finishing your Proud Mary quilt, but also others. Hi everybody, welcome on in. Um, anyway, so first I wanna talk about your Proud Mary block again. Um, last week I just wanted to recap kind of what we went over. I showed you how to uh, piece the curve and I also have a YouTube video out that you can watch and I also showed you how to join those two blocks together to get this seamless uh, curve. Hey Linda, how are you? Hi Diane. So now you can do your blocks. So I'm really curious to see though how you're coming along with them. I know uh, Diane Durr, she finished her quilt and she posted it on the Facebook group, the Splash of Color group. I don't know if any of you else, anybody else has seen it out there. We've got lots of people in the group. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go to the group and take a look. All right, now's the time to hit the share button because I'm gonna show a little uh, tutorial, very small tutorial, but a little kind of tip. Um, hey, Laura, um, on binding and something that I do with binding. And then I'm gonna get on to some other stuff and two giveaways too, so stick with me, okay? I'm gonna angle the camera down a little bit because this is something I want you to see, okay? Here we go. All right, so once you've got your quilts all complete, uh, including your Proud Mary, hopefully that'll be soon, um, you know how you normally place your binding on, you sew it on your quilt sandwich uh, on, the t on the front of the quilt, by machine and then you turn it around to the back. Now I'm not gonna go over how to do that because I'm assuming most of you know how to do that. Um, and, and if you don't, please say so and um, we can do a binding tutorial at another time where we can get more people to uh, participate. Anyway, what I normally do is I normally cut my bindings at two and a quarter inch and then, and then press them in half and then sew them on to the, to the front and then turn them over to the back. So this is the back of our quilt. And yes, it's not quite finished because this is just a little sample. So, but what I showed you last week in how to do the curves is I did show you the glue pen, which is one of my favorite sewing aids. And I use it for a lot of things. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you may want to do that because I do show not only um, on my YouTube videos how to piece the curve with your glue pen, but I also show you an applique procedure with the glue pen. And now I'm gonna show you what you can do with your binding um, and the glue pen. So once you've got your binding sewed onto the front via machine, and you know how you turn it over to the back? And a lot of, a lot of quilters use clips or pins or something. I've never once in my entire years of quilting used clips or pins or anything. Um, I always just, typically I'll sit there and I'll bind and I'll fold it over with my thumb and just hold it in place, take a few stitches and move along, okay? But I 
have now come to love the glue pen. And what you can do is if you want to set this up ahead of time, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go right into where that stitch line is. And I'm going to show you because this is the blue glue pen. If you can see where I put the blue glue, put it just in that stitch line, turn your binding over, press, and then continue along in here, turn it over and press. And look, it keeps it in place for you. No clips, no pins, nothing. And you just continue along the back side of your quilt, just pressing it down, putting your glue in there, and then it stays like that, ready for you to bind um, without any clips or pins in your way. <laughs> and I love it. Linda says, now why didn't I ever think of that? I don't know, Linda, <laughs> but now you know and you can use it. So you're just going to go round and round. And when you get to the corners, you're just going to use that glue in here. Put a little bit of dab of glue in there to make that miter and then fold it over, right? See, and press it. And there's your little miter and you can continue to go this way. I might need a little more in there because I didn't put it down. And then just continue to do it this way. And the only way that will release from there is once it once it's dry is if it gets wet. So just don't get it wet. And it'll sit like that forever. And I actually should have brought over here. I do have a table runner that I did this to. Um, and it's been sitting there for over a year now. Um, and, oh, and you used fusible tape once. It was hard to get it straight. Yes, fusible tape would be you. You definitely need to try this because you can get it right where you want it and then you don't have to worry about it gumming up your your uh, needle as you're going through. But anyway, I've had a table runner sitting like this um, waiting for me to finish binding it by hand. Uh, it's been well over a year that it's been like that and it hasn't released, but of course I haven't gotten it wet either. So again, for those of you who are just joining, yeah, hit that share button so people can see. You're, when you after you've sewn that that um, binding on by the uh, front by machine, you're just going to run a little bit of glue right along inside that seam with your glue pen. Pull your binding over, press it, okay, on there, and then just keep going. And it stays there, really kind of until you're ready to sew it. So you're you're it's all set and ready to go, and you just as I showed you before, when you want to do the miter in the corner, you just put a little dab of glue underneath that and it holds that miter. Isn't that cool? I love it. Thank you, Helen, for sharing. Um, we're going to do a giveaway too, so stick with me. So I'm going to and see how it looks from the front. It looks like you've already got it bound. You just have to hand stitch it down. So that's my little tip for the day. And um, Again, I have little tips and stuff like this and YouTube uh, tutorials on my YouTube channel. So if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I'm going to turn the, the um, camera back up. Hi again. <laughs> so I want to tell you a few more things and then I'm going to get on to the giveaway because I think you're going to really like it too. Because it is the season of giving, right? Uh, we're coming towards the holidays and there's lots of gift giving going on and I want to give my, all of you, my viewers, a gift. Well, at least a couple of you this time. So hopefully between now and Christmas, each week I'm going to do a giveaway or two maybe. So make sure you stay tuned in. So, but what I want to talk about first, I know a lot of you have been so patient with me and my Fresh Pickens line. I made the uh, Proud Mary out of my Fresh Pickens collection from Island Boutique. And we, I've been so busy between um, October quilt market and festival and all, and then getting back into gear and meeting some deadlines that I have to, with my next line of fabric that's coming out in the spring, um, I, I haven't had a whole lot of time to get my fabric line on to my website. So it will be going up, I promise you. Within the next week, it will be up. But right now, I can tell you that I do have some kits that you've been waiting for up on the site. They are in limited quantity, and we will be cutting some more. But right now, I'm going to talk about them just a little bit 
so that you can see and I'll put links for them for you um, afterwards. So first one, let me just angle this down again. So this one is the clamshell kit, okay? So if you are not familiar with my clamshell quilt, I don't have it here with me today. It is actually with my friend Ginny Radloff at her shop in um, Massachusetts Apple Tree uh, Apple Tree Quilts. So um, if if you want to see it in person and you're and you live in that vicinity, you can definitely go see it. Anyway, I have a very limited amount of clamshell quilt kits available. I believe I have three on the site right now. So anyway, they include all the fabric and I'm gonna show you actually a rendering. I, I gotta kinda cover the name. Here's, here's a rendering of a queen size quilt, the queen size clamshell. Um, mine that you're gonna get the kit for if you're interested in is uh, the the smaller one it's a um, I think it's like 60 by 74 but they're all my fresh pickings fabric so I think there's three and when they're gone they're gone gone for a little while we'll, we probably will be making more but all these yummy fresh pickings colors and the one thing I want to tell you about is when I do kit because I'm a quilt work certified instructor and shop I just want to show you what we do for you so you'll receive in your kit not only the um, fabrics, you'll receive the pattern. You will, if you happen to already have the pattern and you want the kit, just write a note in the um, in the um, your order so that I know that you've already um, got the pattern and we'll take that off. Um, and actually, I think I need to go back and correct the price on the the website. So don't purchase it just yet. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, anyway, you're going to receive um, the kit will have all the labels and it will tell you the sections that that fabric goes to. This is the skew number of the fabric and how much yardage you have. So you're always going to know where to put your pieces of fabric. We always label them for you, okay? So that's the clamshell kit. The other kit that we're gonna have available for you is the tarnished windmill. And actually, I have that right here for you to see. I know it's gonna be hard, it's kind of in the back here. But this is another Judy Niemeyer quilt that I did with my fabric line. This has the multis on the border, if you can see that. Um, let me hold it up for you and see if you can, I'm gonna, See how much you can see here. So that's the center of the quilt, okay? And then you've got the, the borders and the little fans. So we've got the tarnished windmill kits. Right now we only have two of two of those kits available. So there's two of these available at the moment. And those um, are up on the site. And I believe that's the correct pricing on the site. So um I will put the links in the video when I'm done for the for the um, Watch Me Wednesday. So those are two things I wanted to go over with you. Now, I'm going to talk about the giveaway. So let's hit that share button so that others can get in the giveaway. And I want to give you kind of a heads up too. I'm going to be, I've been getting for the past few months, um, and I've kind of been squirreling them away because... I really wanted uh, you, my viewers, to enjoy them too. And I've been getting Quilty Box. How many of you know what a Quilty Box is? If you don't, a Quilty Box is a monthly subscription and each month you get something in the box that is Quilty. So, um, and a heads up, Next month, not next, well, this is still November. January, there's gonna be some special stuff in your Quilty Box if you're a subscriber. And I'll put a link to Quilty Box for you in, in the, in the um, description after I post the video. So I'm gonna give away two of my Quilty Boxes that I've gotten over the past few months to you guys, okay? But I want to show you what's in a quilty box first. 
So I have two different quilty boxes here and I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's open this up. So in the quilty box, and I'm going to angle this down so a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. In the quilty box, you get this little brochure and it tells you in it a little bit about, I'll show you, about the designer who is featured for that month. They do an interview um, of that designer and then you also will get a pattern to do and you have, so in this, in this quilty box, it's a giraffe pattern, how cute is that? So you'll learn some techniques and everything from the designer. So it's a nice little magazine that has all kinds of tips, uh, techniques, and a free pattern in there. Okay, then you open up your quilty box, and it always comes wrapped nicely in tissue paper. And there's an, another little card here that talks uh, again about the designer, but it also tells you what's in your quilty box. And it tells you the values of what you're getting in your quilty box. So you always get fabric, you get a pattern, you get uh, some notions, possibly some thread. So in this quilty box that I'm gonna give away, um, so the designer on this one was um, Susan Claire Mayfield, and in it she included an add a quarter plus ruler. This is great for you paper piecers. Jean, I thought you might love that giraffe. Um, and look at yeah, beautiful fat quarter bundle of Hoffman Me and You Inda fabrics. So those are in there, right? Okay. And those you'll be able to make that giraffe with, okay? Then in here, these are um, little um, called Karumi buttons, and I think you cover those buttons with your fabric, okay? And it shows you how to cover those buttons. Then you got in here water-soluble pencils, another little great notion, okay? You've got some soak. You've got oh, a great little quilty box decal, and you've got the applique, whoops, Jasmine the Giraffe applique pattern in the bottom so that you can make that giraffe. So that's one quilty box, and this will go to one lucky winner, right? So, and I'll give you the details on how how to um, potentially win this box in just a few minutes. So hang with me because I'm going to show you the next quilty box, okay? If you're not a quilty box subscriber, trust me, you'll want to be because there's going to be a special one coming up in January. Just saying. So here's the other quilty box that I'm going to give away, okay? So again, comes the same way, wrapped in tissue paper. You open it up and you get this great little magazine in here talking about the designer. And this one is Leah Day, a friend of mine, and I'm sure some of you know who Leah Day is. Um, and she, they do a nice little interview, and then she gives you, Leah, Leah wrote a pattern specifically for this quilty box, which is how they all work, okay? So she wrote that one. And then you get tips and techniques, and again, you get another little card in here. It tells a little bit about Leah. And it also talks about what is in your quilty box. So this is a kind of a cool quilty box. Um, so this one here, I gotta read what this is. This is a tutu mason jar notions holder and pin cushion. So basically you put it over top of a mason jar and it can hold your bobbins, your scissors, your pin cushion on the top, um, and then it kind of tells you what to do here. And you can put like spools of thread or anything on the inside of your mason jar, but it's a cool little thing. And it's kind of like a rubber or a silicone, I guess you would call it, but that's in this quilty box. So that's a cool little thing. She also provides two coordinating um, threads for the project that she has in here. A um, little bit of soak. Um, she's got some self-threading clover needles in here. So the designers, by the way, pick out everything that goes in this quilty box because it goes to make your project. 
And then we've got these wonderful fabrics from Island Batik to help you create the project that she's written for you in here, okay? So that is Leah's quilty box. So those are the two quilty boxes that I'm going to be giving away because I want to spread some good cheer to all of you. So I'm gonna angle this back up at me. Hi everybody, I'm back. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the quilty boxes and I hope you enjoyed my little uh, binding tutorial at the beginning. So hit the share button because this is what you have to do to win one of the quilty boxes this week. And remember, this is the, this is the month of giving. So I'm gonna be doing giveaways a lot uh, on the Wednesdays. So tell me what you need to do. The giveaway is gonna be open through till Friday night. Okay, Friday at midnight. Saturday morning when I wake up, I will draw a winner from the comments, okay? I will draw two winners. So tell me which quilty box you would like and why, okay? Uh, would you like the giraffe one or would you like Leah's, um, the Hawaiian applique type um, box? Tell me which one you would like and why. Also, I would love for you to visit Quilty Box and I'll put the link in um, my description so that you know which, which where to go. Just visit them and like their page. That would be fantastic. And then Saturday I will draw a winner. Your comment has to be on this video on my Canton Village Quilt Works Facebook page. If you see my video on YouTube, if you see it on my personal page or on my blog and you leave a comment on any one of those other places, your comment will not be entered. You can't send me a message. Don't do that because I need it all in one place. So they have to be here on my Canton Village Quilt Works Facebook page on this video. And it will be pinned to the top of my Facebook page. So if you're watching my video after the fact, after my broadcast, make sure you leave, go to my Canton Village Quilt Works page, like my page, then write your comment in where my video is on my page, okay? So it's pretty simple. Put a comment, which Quilty Box you'd like, on my page, and then go over and head over to Quilty Box page and say hello to Quilty Box and tell them I sent you. Okay, next, stay tuned for next week. I'm gonna have something really fun next week. Um, let's just say it could be, I might be doing a little demo on how batiks are made. I'm gonna have all the stuff to show you. So make sure you come back next week, Wednesday. Watch me Wednesday, 1.30 Mountain Standard Time. In the meantime, have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.